Hey, what's going on guys, Dignal here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you both methods to actually import and export presets into Vegas Pro. Uh, I didn't really want to do this tutorial as it's extremely basic, uh, however, I've been getting a lot of questions about it lately, and it occurred to me that most people might not actually know uh, how to do this. So there are two methods and two separate uh, sort of ways to actually import and export presets. So I'm going to show you guys the first one really quick. Uh, so I've just got a, a normal, uh, you know, just a normal solid color right here. And I'm going to go ahead and apply a random uh, effect to this. Let's do BCC bulge, uh, which is right here. And you obviously won't see the bulge, but you know, it's there. And let's go ahead. We made the height uh, 117,01 and it was just, you know, the perfect height. Uh, we can actually go ahead and go up here and uh, my cock is bulging. Bulge. I don't know how to spell that. I think that's good. Uh, and then we click on this save preset right here. And then we can just click on and off that. And then we have that one. Uh, so now to actually find this and send it to someone else, we're going to want to close our Vegas. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say no to that. We're going to open our file explorer and we're going to navigate over to preset or documents right here. Uh, so go ahead and go to your documents. Should be pinned to your quick access menu. If it isn't, just go to your PC and then your the name of your uh, your profile and then your documents folder. Uh, so once you're here, you're gonna want to find this folder up here called OFX presets, and then you're gonna want to look uh, through all of these folders and search for BCC bulge, and it is right up here, right at the top. So just go ahead and double click that, uh, go into the filter. And then you have the XML document right here. My cock is bulging. There we go. Fucking amazing, lads. And to actually import this, you're going to want to make sure you know uh, the effect that the uh, the XML file is for. And then just go ahead and drag it in to the, uh, the filter folder of any of these uh, folders. So right here, you just, if I had, let's say, you know, a Flickr setting or whatever, uh, you just go ahead and go into your Flickr folder, filter, and then just drag it in here. Uh, now let's move on to the uh, the second and the far more superior method, which is going to be the preset manager. All right, so I've got my uh, my internet browser open and ready to go here. So uh, just go ahead and go up into your uh, your search thing <laughs> and search for preset manager two comma or two point oh, and uh, you'll get this link up, uh, hopefully at the top of your browser. And uh, let's go ahead and see if we can actually open this. Uh, lovely. Okay, it did open, and it'll look like sort of a sort of a virus site. I won't lie to you. Uh, however, this is the legitimate download. Uh, I know it's a bit shit, but it is what it is. Really, just make sure it looks like this. It has this uh, URL. Uh, the URL will also be in the description. Uh, so just go ahead and click on that if you're uncertain. Uh, and then just go ahead and uh, navigate down to this massive uh, virus looking download button. Go ahead and left click it and it'll actually start the download. Uh, I think there we go. Okay, just go ahead and click save. I'm just going to go ahead and put it on the desktop and uh jesus fucking christ all right anyway now that we've got that uh downloaded we're gonna want to double click on it and uh this little pop-up menu will show up so just go ahead and click yes on that and uh since i already have it installed i'll get this pop-up menu however if you don't actually have it installed just go ahead and follow the instructions on the screen uh try to ignore any bloatware i'm not really sure if there is any uh, however, yeah, just go ahead and click through it. Be careful and, uh, you know, that shit. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> pretty much, yeah, just do that. And, uh, once you have it installed, you're going to want to go down into your Windows bar and you're going to want to search for preset manager 2.0 and, uh, this peculiar looking window will show up. Uh, so pretty much what you're going to want to do here is just go ahead and, uh, go into your FX chains down here and you'll see every single, uh, thing that we actually have so um these are gonna these are gonna be all the ones you actually already have installed uh if you are just now downloading the other uh, program however you will not have anything down here uh so you're gonna want to get some presets this may be from an edit pack that you've bought or you know a friend or something like that uh but if that does happen uh it'll be in a what is called a preset package so it'll be uh, it'll be up here and you just go ahead and highlight over and you drag all of them and you dr drag them down here. 
And uh, if you want to export any of your presets, like let's say you make a really sick shake or something like that, you want to send it to your friend, uh, just go ahead and take one of these, go and drag it up, click on the save icon, uh, just put it anywhere, uh, just sick shake, something like that. Uh, hit enter and there you have it. If you go into your uh, desktop now, you'll have it right here. Uh, so yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button down below, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. And uh, see you guys in a couple days and uh, peace.